we're at Sam Car Incorporated. This is the dealership here. It's off of Rio Bravo and Broadway. And just a couple of days ago, a couple came here to test drive a car, but easier said than done. They had different plans than actually paying for that car. Take a look at the surveillance video you only see right here on 7. It was a first time experience for this used car dealership. She goes, well, let's take that one for a test. Can we test drive it? They asked me. I said, sure, just let me have your ID or your keys to your car. But little did he know, these two had other plans. You see this brown car drive up to this mom and pop car lot, back out, and then... Around the van and kind of hiding their vehicle at the other side of the van. A man and woman are inside. They hesitate to come out, but eventually make their way into the front office. I walk in on them, which I kind of startled her. Employee Richard Alcantar talks to the two, asking what kind of car they're looking for. And I said, well, let's go outside and let me show you what we have. The duo decides to test drive this Ford F-350. Alcantar takes the woman's license and then you see the two hop into the truck. The couple drives that truck right out of these gates. But if you take a close look at that surveillance video, you'll see them stop right at the gate. The woman hops out of the truck, gets into her own car, and then the two take off. I find it very offensive. You know, because we try to trust people, you know, um, let them take it on a test drive, you know, out of trust. The shop is now out $14,000. You work hard to establish what you have, and then you have somebody that just don't care and just comes in here just to rip you off. And this all happened in under 20 minutes. Now, this is the first time this has happened to the dealership. They say they're now going to change their test driving policy. So instead of just asking for a license, they're going to ask for your car keys as well. And they'll hop along for that test drive. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News.